<laughs> then they got in a fist fight on the bus. Amen. <laughs> I now pronounce Ukraine actually part of Russia. Yeah. Привет, my comrades! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today we continue watching with you jokes about Russia in Family Guy. Yeah, the second episode about Russia and jokes about Chelabinsk, I guess. So, let's get started. Let's go. I'm gonna put in some... And don't forget to push the like button, subscribe button. Thanks. Thanks for supporting. Let's go. Fantastic, because I've learned my lesson. Sure, just gotta stop at the bank. Still get my account sorted out after that Russian hacker thing. Ah, uh -huh. yes, that Ivan fellow. I can't believe Meg stayed behind to be with him. Well, they seem pretty happy to Me too. together. Still, it's gotta be hard leaving your whole life behind and adapting to a foreign culture. Yeah, like a guy who escaped Russia, I understand that. Welcome to Georgia. Uh, it's not so easy to live in another country with different culture. I wonder how she's doing. This old town, this old crumbling village. <laughs> Everything is not so worse. But worse, but not so worse. Worse in a different way. We don't have normal uh, media, we we have uh, corruption. So in Russia there are, there, is a, there are a lot of problems, but not so shitty. But I have never been in Chelyabinsk, probably in Chelyabinsk. <laughs> Maybe Chelyabinsk looks the same. Cold and gray. Like the town next door It's so bleak But to me it's perfect Not for me Especially when we say Привет! 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 Oh, the guy with Ukrainian flag beaten by the policeman Yeah, this is actually absolutely right view Here, yeah, absolutely One more Uh. We don't have Russia. I'm I'm not Russian. I'm Belarusian. I'm from Eastern Europe, but not Russia, you know. There is no KGB in Russia anymore, just policemen. They make the same shit, but they called policemen. And all of us, do, do, we don't wear just a uh, sports suit. Yes, we have it. All of us have sports suit, but we, we don't wear it all the time. Привет. 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 There goes the onion man. He smells like heaven. Already <laughs> drunk at 9.15. Though the air is bitter okay, that's classic. and cold. And I'm constantly patrolled. I've never felt so much at home. Four. Have a great day at work, space dog. All right, we have all stereotypes about USSR, but it's not USSR anymore. Yes, yeah, some part of Russia looks like as USSR still, but there is no. We we don't kill the dogs in a space rock anymore. And we <laughs> we don't eat onion like that, like an apple. <laughs> but need to say about the drunk guy at 11 a.m. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All of us. Me either. There goes that man. <laughs> she is so dense and sturdy. Pumped out for winter like a seal. And she's only just 18. The exact same age as me. So <laughs> <laughs> right. Every second is amazing stuff, amazing jokes. I want to explain. No. You, people in Russia looks different. Some of them looks like a shit. I guess everywhere we have the same picture. Some of the society looks like a shit. Another part looks really good. For example, <laughs> I'm the guy who looks like a shit. Uh, I'm 27, 27. But this face, my friends told me that I look like I'm like 20, probably. So yeah. <laughs> but I'm not in Russian, and I'm not Russian. Hmm. <laughs> and Putin on the horse. God bless. We still don't have. Uh, any sculptures with the Putin. Thanks God. We have the problem with the Lenin sculptures. Yeah. Sculpture. Still try to, to learn English. Statue. So we don't have statues with the Putin, God bless. But statues with Lenin, yeah, exist in every fucking city. <laughs> what more can I In Russian it's called Svikla, if you need to know how to call this vegetable. Ask for 
It looks like Springfield in a parallel universe. No, we don't have a nuclear station in every country. Oh, you never see this, sorry. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> On the same time, it looks absolutely different and absolutely the same as in real life. It depends on the part of the country. <laughs> in Moscow you can't see this view. But any other one? Yeah, of course. <laughs> About the icons? Yeah, that's true. A lot of Russians have the same stuff. About the fridge <laughs> in the living room? No. <laughs> uh, and this shit on the fridge uh, called Samovar. In USSR they use it for drinking tea. How was day working at Bot Farm, my love? It was great. I convinced a Facebook mommy group that diapers cause autism. Oh, then we had a big catered lunch. See? Four. Ah, my darling has appetite of Siberian walrus <laughs> and is just as fragrant. Mm. Nice. You rest, Milaya. I'll go make tea. Man, I miss American food. Beats are. You can order it. It's, it's possible in Russia still. You can order pizza or hamburger or everything you need. They're fine, but every once in a while, I sure could go for a good old-fashioned American cheeseburger. You can order it. Right now, it's called uh, Tasty and... that's all. Tasty and Coma. So, uh, Russians stolen the recipe of the burgers and created a new name of the McDonald's. So, you can order it if you really need it. Boy, what? Oh, Boje Moy, that means. Oh, God! Bless God! What happened? What happened? Oh. God bless. President Putin will not tolerate even the mildest of criticism. You need to mm. drive slower, man. I don't think he heard the end of my threat. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> maybe your threat should be more succinct. Well, maybe you should call our boss Papa again. It was a mistake! <laughs> One time! One time I do this! <laughs> Sent dissidents poison dart hospital. <laughs> okay, let's look absolutely the same. <laughs> yes, absolutely the same. I'm not joking. We have uh, like free medicine. It's called free, but uh, all the citizens pay taxes for it in all their salaries. But they don't know about that. Sounds ridiculous, I know. So uh, they didn't count it. They don't count it. And they think that we have free medicine, but it's not. We pay taxes all, like, every month. Oh, and still, in the hospital, like that, uh, you have free, like, you can show your problem to the doctor, and doctor give you the recipe, what you need to buy, like, w which drugs. That's all. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and we have payment medicine, we pay, and everything works amazing. Nice uh, doctors, with, they are really professional, all stuff working at Emmys. Oh, Ivan, what happened? Everyone here was silent. You just tried to post uh, something about boogers. Sent by state for careless social media post. You mean that thing I said about beats for lunch? Shh, quiet. <laughs> Government is very strict about criticism of Russian way of life. That's right. Fun fact! Just I read it yesterday. Russian government uh, try to ban Family Guy in Russia because of this episode. This one and the previous one. So, at here we just have the answer. Why? They really don't like criticism. It's true, you see, President Putin can be very sensitive. <laughs> Meg, I am so twice a day. happy you poisoned twice a day. Okay, I stayed by your side all night. Oh, thank you for being so good to me. God, this hospital bill is gonna be a fortune. What? It's free. Even in Russia, healthcare is paid. It's not. It's a human right covered by government. Surely the same in very wealthy, superior United <laughs> States. Well... <laughs> oh. It's not free. But yeah, if you broke your arm or something happened with you like that, you can have like uh, medicine help. You can, you can take it. Yeah, for free. That's true. When I was in Moscow, my friend with Belarusian passport broke his leg. Oh, broke his arm. His arm. And he came to the hospital and they helped him for free. That's nice. Oh. You know what? 
It's a great place for uh, for um, for walking. I like uh, I like walking <laughs> cemeteries <laughs> because it's a quiet place. You can think about your own shit. You can you can see like uh, different uh, statues maybe or read some information about the guys who died already died. So yeah, it's a it's a good place for for thinking for meditation. Why not? It was so sweet of you to plan this picnic, <laughs> Ivan. But picnic, yeah, have a picnic here. Okay, for a picnic it's, it's a little bit strange. Go a little bit far from. Me. Why are we in a cemetery? Meg, I brings you here because cemetery is very special place. It is here where you can finally meet my parents. Ivan Ivanovich, if and Ivana Ivanovich. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't think about the names. My name is Alexei. Hello, Alexei. Uh, you know what? We have different uh, version of names in Russia. So my full name is Alexei, like full, full second name is Alexei. Uh, but uh, my friends call me Lyosha or Lyoha. Alyosha we have variant. Lyosha, Alyosh, Lyoha, Alexei, Alyoshinka, Alyosha. That's all my name. We just could change it. Can change it. Your parents are dead? Oh. Yep, <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, Ivan, I'm so sorry. It's okay. They died peacefully being ripped apart by dogs. Peacefully. <laughs> you were in hospital. Because they slept. <laughs> I was so afraid to lose you. And in that moment, I realized I never want us to be apart. Meg. Will you marry me? Mm. I do not have much to give. This guy want uh, American passport. Oh, that's so cute. But I do have mother's engagement ring. <laughs> nice. What do you say? Can you take another one from another like uh, grave? You can earn some money. Hey Meg, will you make me happiest man in all of Russia? With Who's American passport? Which is admittedly a very low bar. Oh, Ivan, yes, yes, yes. Then come with me and let's take brown clothes, not smiling engagement photo. <laughs> like... It's about USSR still. It's about USSR. We have white wedding dress and black costume still. Uh, it looks different. I have a wedding and it was a different one. Cannot wait to etch this picture of you into hideous black gravestone. Which background do you want? Frozen tundra or leaky reactor? Oh, reactor, <laughs> please. Don't yeah, know my why picture. I offer tundra. Nobody choose. And it can be amazing photo on some uh, scary place in a horror movie. Like when you see on the wall this picture, <laughs> they stay in without very strict faces with shovel <laughs> in the end. <sighs> Still absolutely the same as in real life. <laughs> We begin with it. <laughs> Still absolutely the same as in real life. <laughs> reading from the Russian Orthodox Bible. And Jesus said to Mikhail, the radio you sold me last week does not work. Mikhail said to him, oh. <laughs> Is it in the Bible? Hmm. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus really know about the radio. Do I know you didn't break it on purpose to get your money back? <laughs> then they got in a fist fight on the bus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> I now pronounce Ukraine actually part of Russia. And I also... Yeah. Stop here. Amen. I now pronounce Ukraine actually part of Russia. Oh, oh, that was, you know what, you know what, before this moment it was amazing <laughs> episode, but right now mm, it's the same as joking about 9-11 after, like, the next day after 9-11, you know what, it's a, it's a catastrophe for our regions and right now uh, that's why it have still, like, this problem, because Ukraine tried to defend itself yeah that that was not fun that was that was very pity that was sad and i uh, pray that not the ukraine need to still uh, need, need to stay like separate yeah like like independent country and i also pronounce you husband and wife you may share a joyless kiss <laughs> it was really joyless. <laughs> 
Ah, it's a bar. It doesn't look like that. Well, I managed to upgrade us to President for Life Suite. Window is so big you could shove six, seven journalists out all at once. <laughs> Are you okay, Meg? You barely touched your kvass. What's the matter? <laughs> it's not kvass, it's kvass. Kvass. There is no A between uh, K and V. Kvass. Not enough raisins? Perhaps you miss your family, no? Yeah. I mean, I love it here, but I'm sad they missed my wedding. Hey, I have idea. Why don't we visit family in America? They can no, this guy really wants permanent residential. <laughs> or, or like visa probably? Celebrate our wedding and say a proper farewell. Yeah. That's a great idea. I'm going to call them right now. Oh, no service. Of course, no service. Here, use mine. Only service that works here is state-controlled Russian cellular network where they spy on every move. I think in USA you call it T-Mobile. <laughs> ah, so you got green card marriage, huh? That's right. I, I know it. I know it. Because in this cartoon, Mac is drawing like... Not pretty girl. And in Russia, there's a lot of pretty girls. So, her passport, prettier than her. And cow fell for it. Here's to my last night in Russia. Oh, <gasps> you don't want to stay in Russia anymore? Wow, what happened? Oh my God, this whole thing was just another scam? <laughs> I'll give you something. If Russians try to scam you, they will not talk. <laughs> Where you are close. Thing to laugh about. Oh, 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 bye, bro. You just kill him. What the? Oh, no. <laughs> There is no true. Uh, a lot of policemen who are trying to catch you, yeah, that's true. But they don't try to uh, to make you sleep. They just beat you, <laughs> arrest you, and put you in a prison for 20 years. Ah, ah, nobody tried to <laughs> make you sleep. <laughs> Trust you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was nice. That was nice. You know what? A family guy. Make it more often, please. I want to make a reaction for it. I want to see that. That's. Uh, I like how uh, how the guys tried to show Russia. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's like Western culture. So, thank you for watching me guys. Write a comment, this is my video, and see you later. Bye. Bye.